What's going on everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today playing a little bit of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare PS4. This game is beast mode. I love this game. I really can't say more good things about it. It looks phenomenal. It feels phenomenal. There is so much to do. There's so many awesome weapons. Getting in there, you know, doing this multiplayer mode. I still haven't tried the single player. My wife's been playing the single player. I can't say enough good about it. I can honestly say for the first time in my life that I played the best first person shooter that I think I've ever seen. This game is sick. It is definitely better than everything that's out right now as far as first person shooters go. And I, I gotta say, honestly, I've only played, uh, I think my first Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 2. Um, I, I bought Black Ops and stuff, and Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Ghosts. This is definitely my favorite Call of Duty, bar none. I don't think there's anything even close. To me, the closest one to this would have to be Black Ops 2, but after playing this game and, and getting, in, getting into the new mobility of it, uh, there's nothing even close to me. I love this game. There are a lot of people on YouTube who are speaking speaking down about the game. I can't say people are really saying it's bad because you really can't find anything bad, but the Call of Duty name has been tarnished. A lot of people are upset and feeling burned because previous Call of Duty games probably didn't live up to snuff. And so there are some big YouTubers out there who are doing impressions on the game and just talking about the game, but they will not say that the game is fun. They won't say the game is awesome. They won't say that it's a nice experience playing the game. They might say it's technically sound. They might say it looks better than Ghost, but these guys are not saying that the game is fun. And to the people out there who are YouTubers, who are big YouTubers, grow a pair of balls and tell the truth. This game is a very fun game. Getting into it and learning this new strafing ability with the exosuits and trying out some of these new weapons and being able to double jump and hover and add all these perks to your exosuit. This game is hardcore. I love it. And I'm just telling you guys the truth. I'm not going to bullshit my subscribers. I'm telling you guys the truth. This game is awesome. Now, <laughs> that's not what this video is about. I just I think this game is great. I haven't wanted to play anything since I put this since I loaded this game up. I haven't wanted to play The Last of Us, Destiny, The Evil Within, nothing. And hopefully this lasts me because I like this feeling. I used to have this when I was a kid. I remember buying Do Donkey Kong Country. I didn't want to play anything but that. And I feel like that again with this game. And so I'm really excited about it. I want to share some information with you guys that normally we don't get this soon. But I want to tell you guys about the PlayStation Plus stuff for PS4 that we can expect next month in December and also in January. So this is actually confirmed. And uh, this article is on GameSpot.com. PS4 PlayStation Plus games for December and January revealed early. Okay. Uh... This is actually pretty good news. Sony has revealed a sneak peek at the games that will be available in the PlayStation 4 as part of its instant game collection available to PlayStation Plus subscribers. Uh, posted on the PlayStation blog, the announcement opens with acknowledgement of the delay of Drive Club PlayStation Plus Edition, which had its launch put on hold indefinitely due to widespread server woes. And to that I say, Sony, you've really got to... You gotta work on that, man. Uh, I love Sony. I love my consoles, but the fact that you're allowing your network to break break the experience, to take people out of the experience. I wasn't able to play uh, Evolve, and I was really stoked about getting into playing the Evolve uh, Alpha. And the PlayStation Network Update 2.00 screwed up that for me, so I haven't been able to play that either. So Sony, you really gotta work on that. You know, Microsoft might have this stigma of t of 900p, but Sony, right now you're starting to get this stigma of your network. It doesn't work worth a damn, and it's really, it's really irritating. But back to the, the PlayStation Plus stuff. Following the post previously mentioned, uh, Sony revealed that fighting game Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition, as well as a top-down shooter, Secret Ponchos, will be available as part of the PlayStation 4's Instant Game Collection in December. So in December we get in, in Just as Gods Among Us, the Ultimate Edition, and Secret Ponchos, which is a top-down shooter. Uh, in January, the Swapper, a PS4 exclusive, and Infamous First Light will be added to the PS4's instant game collection list. No further mentions of release windows for Drive Club PlayStation Plus were made, so it's, that's uh, off, off the table for right now. But the thing here is, we got Injustice, Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition coming next month. We got Secret Ponchos, which is probably another uh, indie, but hey, I don't mind having indie indies. I love getting new games and free games for my PS4, my PS3, and my Vita. I just think it's great. And I'm really happy about Infamous First Light. I didn't buy that game. I know a lot of people who bought it, and uh, now I actually get to have it for free in January, so I can wait. 
I can wait for a month and a half and, and have that game. So I'm really excited about that. Sony, uh, Sony does a lot of things right. And they, they still do a lot of things wrong. And the thing that I feel that they, they do wrong is they are not fixing their network. The network servers, uh, the network issues, Drive Club, all these things are kind of unforgivable. And uh, they, they should definitely pick that up. But games like Injustice Gods Among Us for PS4, for people who haven't played that game or haven't beat that game, getting that December is an awesome deal. The game is still selling for 50 or $60 on PS4, so we get that for free in December. And Infamous First Light coming in January. So this is a great, great deal for PlayStation Plus subscribers. I love the fact that Sony does this. They go one direction so well. They do the, the free PS Plus stuff, you know, Infamous, First Light, and uh, Injustice Gods Among Us. Great games, and they allow the PlayStation Network to screw everything up. So hopefully things change for us shortly in the future. You guys let me know what you think about that. Please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up if you found this information useful. And if you're new to the Beastly Gamer channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with this great content. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.